three, two, three, two, one, well, whatever. Hello, my friends, my little YouTube friends. This is the Alaya show. My mother is the stand-in. I am the star of the show. You got it? All these ideas I whisper in her ears at night and she pretends like it's her idea. So today I'm going to teach you how to Netflix and chill with whoever your special somebody may be. Even if it's just yourself, honestly, when I look good, I feel good. I don't know how many times I need to repeat this to y'all. If you look good, you're going to feel good. If you're getting your hair and makeup together, you might as well get your whole get up together. Don't disappoint me. I don't want to see it that way. Right now, Savage X Fenty is having 50% off of your whole VIP orders. Get your undies for $7, what? And sleepwear like the one I'm wearing right now is $17. For such high quality items, you are getting such an affordable range in pricing. Like this top, you can wear out just like how I am. And I'm about to show you the whole thing. So it has this beautiful, elastic band honey you know so is she accidentally see-through or did i mean for you to see my whole tattoo also i like shit that you can like you know like always like do that too just to let them know that the camel is hungry or thirsty you know also it is leggings it is not like capris or anything like that so this is literally so perfect for me to wear in the house. So ladies with big butts, this always goes down, um, like down to here for me on regular leggings. On this one, it doesn't. Like, yes, it still goes down, but I don't mind the curve effect it's giving over here. It makes, you know, your butt look a little bit juicier. I keep it juicy, juicy. I eat that lunch, you know? And this area, it like keeps it like all together. I also really like how versatile this top is. So you can do this with it. You can wear it normally, you can open it up, you know. She can play around with it. I'm a huge fan of this shape, this size. We bend. So this is actually my favorite little situation. They're little boy shorts that keep it like right there for me. I find that a lot of things right up my asshole and beyond it like it's hungry for dear life. But this, the elastic, makes it stay onto my cheeks. Like when I sit, get up, sit, get up, this does not find its way into the crevices of my bunghole, y'all. So that's why I really like these. And I like the control top that it has. And I actually like wearing these with like sweatpants and letting the Savage X fun to show. You know, it's a very brand horror move. I don't know why I'm so tired after that bended stat, bitch. I don't know what the fuck is happening to me right now. But I like the waistband. If you guys have ever tried any of their waistbands, I really like. I also like the shape of here. Now, so this would be like a second date Netflix and chill situation for me because you're not going to get me like the first time with that out, okay? It would have to be the second time. And I know I'm showing it in video, but it's a whole different situation in person, honey. She is not a joke. She is a force to be reckoned with. So this is my favorite little top from them. Like, it, I don't know, in my opinion, it's like a little Henley, a little camisole situation. And you can button it up regularly, kind of like how the other one was, or I like to tie it like this one, and it gives you like a little snug here, and this gives you a little, you know, push-pull here. I don't know, just like cute without being like, too hoey moey. Imagine yourself like cooking in this. You know what I'm saying? 
It is quite cute, darling. Thank you so much, Savage X Fenty, for sponsoring this sexual tutorial. Obviously, my top is from Savage X Fenty. I love their robes, their nighties, like they're affordable and they're very high quality. In the last video where I showed you guys how to get this beautiful hair that I've had since morning, and look, it still looks wet, and moist, it's just easy. And honestly, like honestly, 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 any guy that's ever seen me with hair like this always says they prefer like this type of hair versus anything else. So if you guys have a significant other or somebody else you're trying to impress, throw this hair look on and you can click this link. Click on it, click on it good, click on it hard, click on it with aggression to get this hair look. In this video, I had on a gorgeous, gorgeous tiger print robe and a tiger print nightie, which was Savage X Fenty as well. Aside from the pandemic that's going on, like what I'm seeing is people just being unkind to one another, just like people being in depression. And I understand a lot of people aren't making money or so on and so forth, but this time is an amazing time. I see you guys in my comments for you guys to start your YouTube videos. Like you can even film it on your phone. It's really not that hard. Just put yourself out there bet on yourself instead of somebody else. Literally, you never know. You never know what would happen. Like, look at me, like with the song. I never knew what was gonna come out of it. I put myself in a really uncomfortable situation and look what happened. If I had not taken that risk, if I had not taken that chance, like my future wouldn't have opened up the way it did. I'm challenging you guys to do something that makes you uncomfortable, to push yourself forward, in this pandemic because we have so much time on our hands. So all the girls that have been saying, I'm shy to do YouTube, but I wish I could, I'm challenging you. Yes, you, I see you girl. Yes, you, you. Start your YouTube channel, work on it. It's really not that hard. I promise you, if you comment down below, guess what, I'm gonna be watching your YouTube channel. And a lot of you guys threw shade my way, calling me Carol Baskin. Comment down below if you think Carol Baskin did it or not. In my opinion, sometimes when you're Netflix and chilling, when you get too aggressive with what you're wearing, it's a little desperation, desperado. When you're in lingerie and you're like, hello, welcome to my house. You leave a little bit to the imagination. You have a little light bulb, a little cherry fling going on, and your bottoms can have a little bit of a, see-through action like hee hee hee. This is how you make sexual advances to people without really looking like a desperate hoe. So Savage X Fenty is perfect for that because it has a little bit of like sexy loungewear that shows a little some 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 and then hides a little some 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 some. So for my lionesses out there like me that knows what's good, you should know when you put on the makeup, it is not cute when you put your face on somebody's shoulder, you give them a hug like mm, and then when you remove your face, your face is like a stamp on their shoulder. The whole time you are freaking out and I promise you anytime a guy looks at it, they are uh, gross. This is what they think, even though they say, oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. They are fucking grossed out. End, point, blank, period, poop. They don't like it. It's cool to have all this shit on, but make sure it has staying power. Like right now, I have KKW on in a medium. One thing about KKW, it stays. Good luck trying to take this shit off. I put it on a glove and I put a little bit of Kiehl's, Kiehl's Cream de Croix, and then I put it on all over my body. Now this shit does not come off. Like if you dry it down with a towel, if you get into the shower and you try to scrub this off, if you've ever tried this product, it does not come off. You have to use makeup remover with oil to take this product off. So this is la perfect. If you are going to be sleeping in somebody's bed or you're allowing another person to sleep in your bed, when they wake up, they don't look like you do the poop wood all over the bed. So then we took some Patrick Ta pink pearl spray versus just a highlighter because it stays. Highlighter will move around like, look. Eh, eh. And then you do this weird thing. You spray on the boobies over here. Boink, boink. And beauty. I know I'm turning you on already. This is just the chest. So the whole purpose of 
whatever you're putting on for your appointments, you got to make sure your face looks very nice and plump. That's why I've had these eye patches on because your bitch has been tired. We need to make sure, number one, it stays. So I have a mix-in powder that I like to use with foundations that I'm gonna show you how to do. I used it in a past video. I don't think any of you guys really caught on to what a magical process I was showing you. It's one of my biggest secrets to make foundation last. One of my biggest secrets. I'm I'm putting in your hand like this. Take it and use it, my friend. Okay? Moving on. We don't need eyeshadow when we do this. Why? Because it looks fake. I show you how to do it contour. Let's begin. So the first thing we are going to do is remove the eye patches. And the reason why it's really important, and look at how dried up this was. The reason why it's important to put on eye patches is because we're going to avoid putting on too much concealer. And I'm going to introduce you guys to a new concealer that's like super, super, super lightweight that you will very like. It's a very nice sex like we are today. The first thing I'm going to use, I've talked about this product before. The Dickinson's Deep Puffing Eye Gel helps awaken and depuff tired eyes. I am going to put it on underneath my eyes. And I actually really roughly do this because I feel like it cleans out my sinuses. And one problem I have in the morning when I wake up, like this area right here is always puffy for me. So I like to like pull away from my face. Sexy, we are finished with that part. I've been using this new moisturizer from It Cosmetics. It's called Confidence in a Cream Rosy Tone for aging skin. Bitch, I like the tone it gives. It brightens up your skin. So it's like pink like this. And like, look at how glistening it makes your hands look. I like putting it on underneath light makeup and it actually smells like fresh roses, not like the rotten roses most things smells like. Like it smells like your grandma's bathroom spray, but not this one. And then we're going to upward motion when you put on moisturizer. Like that. Even your forehead, I learned this from my measure. Upward. Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright. You guys already know I'm obsessed with this. So the thing about like having light makeup on is making sure that the skincare is really on underneath so you don't have to put on so much foundations. A lot of people like will be like, oh, how does the makeup look so good? And I'm like, what did you put on underneath it? That is the biggest part for me for makeup. And then eye cream I put on my laugh lines and also my eyelids, darling. And the Banana Bright, you guys look. It just gives like this beautiful, dewy, golden finish for us situation. Let's go. Rosy cheeks, see? Slapping yourself works. So if you plan on kissing someone, you gotta brush your teeth and not only just brush your teeth, you gotta scrape your tongue, bitch. It can't be white, it needs to be like bright pink. Aside from that, I use this bubblegum lip scrub from Lush because it like kind of almost dyes your lips. Not only can you use this on your lips, you can use it on your nipples as well. Don't tell me I didn't tell you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Try it out and thank me forever for the rest of your life. And when people kiss my lips after, it tastes like bubblegum. Who doesn't want that? See how pink it made my lips look already. So what I'm going to do is mix two products in. This is the Natra Bisse Diamond Lip. I put a little bit of that on and it looks like pure oil. And especially after a scrub, it'll like really like your lips. Along with that, what I'm going to do, the Clarence Eclat Minute Hool Comfort Whatever. Number four, Candy. It looks like this. This is a lip tint. This is my personal one so I can use it. I'm going to mix it in with the serum and I'll leave it there and like lightly wipe it off because it's gonna like tint my lip. Because I always don't think it's like cute when you have barely any makeup on and your lips are glossy like this. Like it should almost be like semi-matte without it looking like you have any lipstick on. Cause to me that's weird. I don't know. I don't know if you guys agree. I think it's weird. I'm going to begin with contouring my face and then we can move in with very, very light foundation. While I like contouring my face, look at how dark I made my chest. The contour is going to like help balance out the colors, you know? And don't judge me. I know, I know my face is white and I know my chest is 10 times darker than I am. I can't go tanning. We're in quarantine. Let a bitch live her fantasies. I'm going to begin from the forehead and I am using Graf Tobian Professional Makeup Warm Palette Number Two. And I'm using the fourth color and I'm using a Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush for a F15. Yes, I know, it's for powder. 
No, do I f care what anyone tells me what to do? I'm gonna do what I want. Let me live. Hmm. So then I'm going to just go in to the peaks of my forehead and I'm not using like a ashy color. I'm using a warmer color because I wanna like match my chesticles and it's not gonna be this warm. Calm your tits, okay? I'm making that face. Do I wanna like you? Do I like you? We'll never know. And I'm gonna bring that up into the forehead and repeat it on the other side. Now I'm gonna go into the gobbler. We all know I like to over contour this. Look at how like beautiful and pink my lips look. I have no lip color on. It's just the tint, the scrub and the serum. Uh, let's make our boobs look bigger, why not? Push them together and you can like make a little situation like that. Also, I'm going to turn my neck this way to make it more slimming. Turn it this way and make it more slimming. Get that clavicle, cute. I'm going to use the Sigma Precision 4D HD brush. So I'm connecting it into my eyebrow and I'm bringing it down and I'm pulling it into the eyebrow. The same thing on this side. This brush really makes all of this like easier and we are pulling it into the eyebrow. The reason why I like to pull it into the eyebrow, it softens my eyebrow up. Now I'm going to color correct underneath my eyes. I'm going to use Giorgio Armani number two. This is like literally my favorite, one of my favorite color correctors in life. So the trick about this is you just put it and let it dry up and then you don't have to put so much concealer on. So this formula is so thin and the colors are beautiful. The reason why color corrector works better than this than using a lot of concealer, the color corrector is thinner than the concealer. Get that, my friends? So the concealer that I'm going to use is the Becca, it is called Light Shifter Brightening Concealer. It's like an illuminator and a concealer at the same time, and it's really, really, really light. And it comes a little something like this, and I like to put it on the back of my hand, and I'm using the color number three, Okay, so Metric in number three. If I'm saying it wrong, don't come from my life. And I am going to go down the bridge of my nose and into the forehead like this. And then I'm going to go on the sides of my nose and pull it down like that. Chin to brighten that up. I'm gonna leave the residue on the back of my hand. Okay, I'm gonna grab on my favorite foundations for uh, natural look Chanel in 50N. So I'm gonna take this Makeup Forever metal plate and put 50, that's all I'm gonna put, and then Z Color 30C. One is a neutral, one is a cool. So the 30 cool will act like as a highlight and then the other one will be like a contour around your face. What we are going to do, welcome to Harush's laboratory. The Urban Decay Velvetizer. This product is a mix-in medium. If you guys don't know what that is, take a seat, let me show you. You can mix this in with powders. It is crazy, it is mind-blowing, it is very scientific bullshit. And I'm going to suck it like this. You know, your little TikTok trends that you guys see? Put on your moisturizer, put on a setting, uh, setting powder, put on your primer, and then put on your foundation. Listen, bitches, this is where that technique comes from. Just mix it make your life easier. Try this and then make this go viral, okay? So then grabbing another one, I'm going to take this and blend it into this color as well. So the foundation becomes thicker, longer wear. Now why I like this is because the mixing powder, the velvetizer is like a stamp. It is not going to allow it to move off your face. So when you hug somebody, nope, nope, nope. nothing is going to come up. So you know the mixing residue, I will apply the foundation on with the mixing residue. And then I'll skip the part where I put the concealer on. Now we take the other one and then we put it in the center to make it light and to make center of our forehead glow. And we are going to take the lighter color, blend in, we tap first, always remember, even with eyeshadows. So here's the beautiful thing about using this velvetizer. Because the Chanel is a dewy foundation, correct? Yes, we know. This is why I love it. It's super dewy and it looks very, very natural where it almost looks more natural than using like CC creams. In my personal opinion, you should try it out and then let me know what your opinion is. But the thing about using the velvetizer, it like ensures like a stamp on your face. So 
as dewy as the Chanel can be. The Velvetizer ensures the Chanel from moving. We'll blend in that contour. You guys, someone asked me if they can have intercourse while wearing the tapes. If you tried it out, let me know. I would think it would snap off because like perspiration makes the tapes come off. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm gonna take the Bobbi Brown cream concealers and I'm literally just taking a tiny bit of like a pink one and I just wanna brighten that up like just a little bit. So now using the Duo Fiber 450 brush from Sigma, I'm going to pick up on both the colors and like mix it up. So it's a bigger brush like this. And I'm just going to lightly go over the whole face so I can like unite all the colors. Now I will take the Booty Blender, go back into that concealer because remember it dried up and Harish likes dry concealer. And I will just lightly pat it right there. And you see how it just created like a luminescent like effect. And then I'll go down the bridge of my nose. And this is again just that concealer, the center of my forehead to give that luminescent effect. And then we can just go over the whole face. I'm going to grab a Sigma High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush. And I'm gonna go in to the Urban Decay Velvetizer. And the reason why I like setting with this one for this look, it really locks it all in. I'm just putting it in just to like make sure she does not go anywhere. And it's very light and it does not have flashback. So now I'm going to use the NARS Orgasm Liquid Blush. So we want blush, but we don't want like powder blush. We want our face to look wet. Like, you know how you get out of the shower? Everything looks a little moist. Guys or girls prefer a wet look. Like, your face, any man I've ever talked to, they don't like a super matte face, even though we do. But, like, with the right amount of glisten. So, using um, a liquid blush will keep away the powders from your face. And it has more of a youthful effect. So, I'm just going to pump some on the back of this. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques contour brush. So, I'm going to use a little double double. And we are just going to, in a circular motion, fill that area right underneath the contour. Now, I actually like using this color also on my forehead because I feel like blush makes it look like the areas the sun has kissed you. Tip of my nose on the lids of my eyes. It's like, it creates like an eyeshadow for you. Now that the blush has like set in a little bit, now you can go back in and work it. I do this look a lot on actually photo shoots for my celebrity clients when they need to have the natural look. This is usually what we do because it looks like you have shit on, but you don't. Now we are going to go in with the Tatcha Luminous Spray. And I've seen in a couple of like TikToks when people are like shake before use and everyone's like, <laughs> like not your body, the item. So I close my eyes because I don't like my eyes or underneath my eyes to get oily. And I like the side of my forehead to shine, the side of my cheekbones. It gives you like this beautiful glisten and it breaks it apart again. My face looks wet, but thanks to the velvetizer, it is not going to move too much. I am going to work on my brows. As we all know, I have bushy brows. I'm not the greatest person to look for in brow tutorials, and I'm brave enough to say it. Unless I'm doing a brows on somebody else, then you can watch me. I just like do brush strokes up like that, and then brush it down a little bit. Same, up, up, up. And then like this one, I have to draw on the edge a little bit. Use a light hand when obviously doing brows. I like to make them like stand up more. So I'll go back in with the brush that I used, the concealer with the residue, just very lightly. Now the bottom portion I really didn't put a lot, so you don't need too much, but I do like using this Benefit Highbrow Pencil. It like basically lifts your eyebrows even more. As you can tell, the highbrow is amazing for underneath the eye, so it's better than shadow and it's better than concealer because concealer comes out early and then shadow can be smudged. I don't know what it is about these wax sticks, they really stay on. So aside from doing underneath my brow, 
I actually like going down the center of my nose with this. And then we make the little dot on the bottom. And then you can actually work this in with your finger. Cupid's bow underneath your lip and inner corners. I'm gonna use the London Brush Company Classic 2. And I'm just going to play with the wax pencil. And then with my finger, I'm just going to like calm it down a little bit. Now we move on to the eyes. I am going to use the Kevin Aquan. One, two, three, let go. When you are entertaining, you will opt for a waterproof per se. We never know where we're getting ourselves into. So waterproof will definitely do it for you. So I like to do it once from the root, hold it at the root and then shake it up. Hold it at the root, lift. Hold it at the root, lift. Now the reason why I'm not going under how I usually do it is I don't wanna make them too heavy because you want to make this poor sucker believe this is all you boo and I will go a little bit heavier on the edges just to create like a cat like effect so you can stop here but like you know your girl's a little extra I will take demi wispies and I cut off the edge of them so I make like half lashes and they're so easy literally so easy to pop on if you're horrible at putting on lashes I suggest you create these babies right over here. So let me put some duo black glue on them. I'm gonna let that dry for a second. So while I'm waiting for that to dry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the L'Oreal Extra Strength Hairspray. Lash gels, yes, I like them a lot, but like recently I was out of lash gel and I used hairspray. Bitch, this shit works better than anything. Like for me, this is a very like important product because my shit can up in 2.5 seconds like my worst thing is when people are like are those are your real, real eyebrows? eyebrows and they'll touch it and f up my whole brow game like they'll be like on my forehead but also i take this and you can clean up your hairline with this don't judge me for any extensions you might see in here i've already told you i'm struggling you know and that's not even with the lashes on bitch hold on and I'm going to use a tweezer man slap brush, closing my eye a little bit and placing it on the edge of my eye. And it's just honestly like so easy to do. Like if you don't know how to put on lashes, you guys should practice with this technique first. Look at how natural that looks. And just like on the edge right there. Now getting down to the lip, we have a lip tint on and look, dad your lip. There is no color on my lip. So what I do like to do a little bit, this new color I found, it's called Undress from Kevin Aquan. It's literally the same color as the color of the dye that's left over. I just like to give it a rim. And if you guys know, tints are gonna last you longer. So if you're kissing somebody, you don't want your lipstick to transfer over to somebody else. I don't know, it's not cute. So lip tints are like the best way to prevent this. And then you just put lip liner around it and a little chapstick and voila. I'm going to put on the Makeup Forever HD Lip Booster. And I just like a clear, but any chapstick will do honestly. And I'll just put it on in the center. The reason why I like using this, it stays. I hope you guys enjoy this look. I hope you guys have fun, Netflix and chilling. Here are five shows that I cannot live without. And if you're gonna Netflix and binge instead of doing something productive with your life, then maybe I can give you good shows that at least you can learn some shit from. So number one, Money Heist. I love it. Make sure you watch the English version, literally. The professor is me. Like, you have to watch Money Heist. It actually took my friend a long time to convince me to watch this show. It's called Outlander. It is a beautiful show. You should watch it. Number three, Lock Key. I'm obsessed. It reminds me of Casper the Friendly Ghost and House on Haunted Hill. If you have not watched House on Haunted Hill, watch that as well. Another show that you should watch if you're into witchy stuff, Oh is a Witch. It is an amazing show, I love it. And again, it's not in American. Both of those shows are um, Spanish shows that are translated into American shows. So these are my top five shows. 
Let me know if you guys like it. If you know any good shows, just comment down below and let your girl know because I just gave you five of my favorites. Right, Lolly? I just cannot wait for the day. Excuse me, I'm talking to you. I have my own show. Can you guys petition for me to have my own show and let's get rid of her? Get rid of her. Alaya, what's wrong, mommy? What's wrong? I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know if you guys want to see more natural looks like this one. And again, this look is stamp proof. So let me know if you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, it's okay. We don't all have to agree. Why are you running away from me, Lolly? Infidel, let me go. You infidel, you infidel. Let me go, let me go. Alaya, what's wrong with you? Thank you for watching. Alaya has been very difficult lately. I don't know what it is. I think she's coming into her own personality and she's, she took a shit on me today and pissed on my bed yesterday. And she is potty trained and the bitch is sending signals. She cannot be fucked with because I punished her for eating that cookie. Since then, we haven't been cool. And that's how the cookie crumbles, guys. Bye.